Hey Nancy, this is what you need to do to figure out uh, consignment stuff. So uh, go to your Shopify collection page. Um, by the way, I still have your login, so I got in. Go to your collection page and create a collection. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to call this the Bruce Day collection. Um, I don't know if I spelled his name right. Now you want to type in the title. And then you want to go to this thing called sales channel and just make it available on your point of sale. That's your POS in the store. Make that done. And then, <clears throat> um, and then you want to go down here and you want to create a product vendor. Um, product vendor is equal to Bruce Day. And now save that. Okay, now there is a collection called Bruce Day. Now you want to go to all your products, and then you want to find stuff that Bruce Day makes. So I'm assuming I can find it this way. Bruce Day. Okay, so here is something that he made. Excuse me, I got the burps. So he made this one here. Um, you now want to put this product into a uh, vendor, excuse me, the vendor being Bruce Day. Oh, I guess there is no vendor called Bruce Day. So let me make this Bruce Day, add Bruce Day, and let's save him. Okay, now we want to go back down here and inventory him and you want to do this Shopify inventory. You want to keep track of this. Shopify keeps track of this. I think you sold this, so I'm going to make this zero. And um, this box here is interesting because it allows your customers to buy things that are out of stock. Um, so, you know, um, it's kind of tricky. I would say you should not push this button. Um, if Bruce Day brought 20 of these things in, you would put 20 in here in the quantity. And then when you get to zero, you don't have any left to sell, so you should be fine. Okay, next box that you want to make sure that's good is I would change this, remove this Bruce Day here because it's become irrelevant because he's going to be sorted under his vendor type. Um, or you can do something like this. Um, and save that. Now I just want to go back to collections and make sure that Bruce Day is now showing at least one Bruce Day product under here. Yes, it is showing Kaleidoscope Projector Lamp by Bruce Day. Okay, so there we've fixed the collections. Now when you want to check to see how many things have sold, you can go by inventory and then you can filter, um, select here, um, vendor and Bruce Day, add a filter. And I believe you can even add another filter here by date, tagged with, no, you can't, sorry. So um, inventory quantity. So then you can do this and then you can hit um, and then now you're showing that you sold zero Bruce Day. You have zero in stock. So maybe this is one way you can uh, you review to see how many things you sold by that one vendor. Um, sorry, you can't uh, sort it by, um, by um, date. The other way you might be able to sort things is you just go to um, um, <clears throat> products and then uh, filter by title, and then you can do um, uh, filter by vendor, product vendor, and then you can select Bruce Day again here, and you add the filter, and then you can see that <clears throat> there's some products with the Bruce Day's name on it. Uh, if you really wanna get fancy, you can do this export and make a spreadsheet if you're interested in doing that, I can show you how to do that. Now, there's one other thing that I'm not going to be able to show you here online, 
But if you go to your i um, your iPad POS at the top, um, where there is this search button where you're typing in to find products, just underneath that, there should be another button that'll drop that'll give you a drop down menu that'll show you your collections. So now you'll have collections there such as Bruce Day and Annie Z. So you can go ahead and um, um, you know find products that way much faster. They'll be all on one page, nicely arranged. So I hope this is helpful for you and um, best of luck.